You're listening to By Way of the Sea, an 11 part original audio drama created by Aralore Studios in collaboration with Stay Busy. This week's cover art was created by the artist Ana Maria, with episode sponsorship by Heroes of Hiraith. After an assessment of the ship's wreckage, Jeremiah made the difficult decision to leave Silas, Elena, and Lucio on the island while he and the Tarjacks rowed for help. With a promise to return with biscuits and butter, he said goodbye. It didn't take long for Elena to take charge, demanding that Silas help her into a tree in order to create a shelter from the torn sails. Later, after another heart-to-heart with Lucia and the gathering of some salvaged items, the three learned they may be better suited for life on the island than they expected. What they didn't expect is what would happen next. Chapter 7. The Arrival Did you sleep any? No. You? Oh, you know me. I could sleep anywhere. And And I have. (laughs) (laughs) Shh. Careful not to wake her. Let her sleep. I don't know why you coddle her. Coddle her? You seem to have magically forgotten the years I snuck you extra crackers. Crumbs. And fish. Tails. And chocolate. You know what I mean. I truly don't. You and the captain must be getting paid a hefty one for this. You treat her like... A human? With kindness? With compassion for what she's going through? Going through. (laughs) Yes. Going through. We are all stuck on this island. Yes, we are. Together. And so we must make the most of it. And each other. You know, if you took the time, you'd see that you two are more alike than you'd like to admit. Alike. Yes, of course. She gets to walk her fancy shoes on the boards I scrub. Silas. What? Not everything is as it seems. You aren't. That's only because... I gave you a chance to show me otherwise. Right? Maybe do the same for Elena. Hmm? Oh, Elena. You're up. I am. Silas. Where are you going? I need to get more firewood. I still can't believe you finally got it started. No, no, you stay. I'll go this time. You've been going back and forth all night. I'm happy to go. I'm sure you are. Stay. Rest. Talk. See? Did you sleep any? Better than I have been. The fire helped. Thank you. Didn't build it for you. Right. Of course. What are you... Are you... Must you keep scribbling in that book? It's not scribbling. I'm writing. For days on end. No one has that much to say. Not even Lucia. It isn't all writing. Sometimes I draw. You tie knots. You sew. You climb trees and build shelters. You read and write and draw... Hasn't anyone told you all that independence will scare away your prince? Good. I hope it does. Good. My mistake. Here I thought life without rope burns and chap skin was what every lady dreamed of. I'm not a lady. So you've said. But the big heavy trunk of gowns and slippers says otherwise. You know, the captain could have gone back to save my things. But all I had was a few hankies and a tin of tobacco. Which, if I'm being honest, I'd rather have now than some floral silk and bridal veil. The veil! This is no time for dress-up, my lady. The tiny weave. We can use the veil to keep out the flies from our tent. And ruin it before the big wedding day. The prince really wouldn't like that. Enough! Please! Please stop saying that. There she is. Maybe you aren't a lady after all. I never claimed that I was. And I never claimed to care. What is it about me that insults you so? Everything. I'm afraid you're going to have to be a little more specific. It's your attitude. I beg your pardon. I am not the one with the attitude. Of course you are. You're always looking down at me. You're doing it now. You do not know what I have been through. Look at you and your trunk of embroidered gowns, traipsing around my ship, all laced up, lifting your ruffled skirt to climb ladders, acting so dainty and delicate. These gowns are not a reflection... And your hair! You were born into this life with more privilege in your golden curls than I could ever work for in three lifetimes. I cannot control my hair. I didn't choose my curls. You got to choose this ship, this voyage. I didn't. You think I chose this? You're here, aren't you? 
One day, my father came home from travel to tell me that I am not who I believed myself to be, who I had been raised to be. He told me my hand had been promised to a stranger without my knowing, and that a ship awaited me in the morning to take me to a land I didn't know, to marry a person whose name I've never even heard, with a trunk of dresses I had never seen before in my life. This wasn't my choice. None of this is my choice. I didn't realize. How could you? You've been too busy making assumptions of where I come from to stop and see who I truly am. Lucia was right. About? She told me that we have more in common than I wanted to see. I imagine we do. The only difference between us is I know when to hold my tongue. Silas! Uh, Elena! Lucia, we're over here! Come! Quick! Come! Lucia, are you alright? I'm fine. But you're limping. What happened? I said I'm fine. There. Look. In the water. What is that? Stop. Listen. Help. Help us, please. Help. It's a man. Go. Go help him. There's a child, too. A girl. Hurry now. Are you sure you're okay? Yes. It's just a little scratch. Go. Get the girl. <coughs> Please. Get I have her. her. Come on now, sit. Thank you. Are you all right, mate? We are now. <coughs> because of you. What were you doing out there? The storm. A few nights back. It took out our ship. I tried to swim us to safety. But I, I got too tired. So I found that piece of wood and we've been drifting ever since. When I saw the island, I tried to paddle our way, but she can't swim, so I, I had to balance both her and the board, keep her head above the water. Is she alive, Elena? Yes, but she is very weak. She's been in and out of, <coughs> she's been in and out of consciousness for days. Let me see her. What is your name? Quesse. And hers? Um, I, uh, Bahia, I think. Is she not yours? No. I didn't even know there were children on the vessel. Where were you headed? I, I'm sorry. I, I don't know. He must have hit his head. No, it isn't that. In my village, I am the healer, the doctor. Whenever word comes that help is needed, I, I travel to my brothers and sisters in need. I often don't know where I'm going or who with. That is so kind of you. But not very <laughs> smart. There you go. Good girl. You're going to be all right. Here, I'll take her. No, you stay. Silas, can you carry her to the fire? Of course. Let's all go to the fire to get warm. Here, I'll help you up. Are you sure? She's stronger than she looks. Elena here climbed that tree, made us a shelter all by herself. So you're not just pretty. You're smart, too. Come now. Let's get you in the tent. Thank you for listening to Aerolore Studios by Wave the Sea, with vocal talent by Brenna Patzer as Elena, Karina Hilliard as Lucia, Enzo Leon as Silas, Gervais Weeks as Quesse, and Sunny Snow as Bahia. Aerolore Studios is a family-owned and female-led storytelling brand and production company dedicated to creating connections through original characters and stories inspired by eras gone by. With a mission to spotlight visual and performing artists through stories that showcase the strength of the human spirit, Aralore seeks to create a safe place and a celebrated stage for creative collaboration in the arts. Stay Busy is transforming the business card industry into a digital, more sustainable entity. For more information about our collaboration partner, please visit staybusy.com.